Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number six. And in this video, I am going to talk to you guys about column inception. Just kidding. I'm going to be talking to you guys about nesting the responsive grid inside of the grid. So in other words, we're going to put columns inside of columns, which is why I call it column inception. Okay. So uh, let's get started by first of all taking a look at some of the code that I've already thrown in here. So I just went ahead and made a container and a row and a div that takes up 12 columns and it has a background color of success and there's a little bit of content there. So this is basically what we're working with in the browser. A uh, div that is green that has some content, okay? Um, now let's take a look at what happens when we nest a column inside of this column. So what I'm going to do is uh, create another div and I'm going to give this one a class of col lg6 uh, and then I'm also going to give it a background color of bg primary and that's going to be like a dark blue color and uh, I'm going to create a paragraph here and just say this is an inner div. Now, if I don't have the background color, we're probably not going to be able to see how big this column is. So that's the only reason why I'm putting the background color in. And also, if I don't have content inside of the div, it's probably not going to show up in the browser window. So that's why I had to put a paragraph in here. So if you guys don't have the background color or you don't have some content, it's probably not going to show up on your screen very well. Okay, now let me come back here and hit refresh. And did I forget to save? I think I might have. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, ahead and hit save and come back here and hit refresh. And now you can see that we have our 12 column uh, div and then we also have a six column div. And the result over here was pretty much expected, right? You guys knew that, okay, 12 columns means that this div is going to take up the full width of our container, whereas six columns means that this div is going to take up half of the container. Um, so what would happen then if I changed this parent column to be the same size as the child column? In other words, we want this one to be half of the grid and we want this one to be kind of the same size as its parent div. We want it to take up the full width of its parent. So six and six, because this is a mistake that a lot of you guys are going to make, right? Uh, now that I've gone ahead and done that and I come back here and hit refresh, you can see that not only did my parent div shrink to six columns, but so did the child div. So whenever you nest one column inside of another column, what you're actually saying over here with these breakpoints is that the child column must take up six columns of its parent. So this child div is taking up six columns of its parent. In other words, um, you can think of it like this. Whenever you start nesting the, the bootstrap grid, then you're basically creating a mini grid inside of the column that you're actually nesting it in. So uh, uh, we've got a grid that starts here and ends here that was 12 columns. But because we nested this column inside of uh, this div, we've also got a grid that starts here and ends here. So uh, this div is taking up six columns of its parents. And if we wanted it to take up its full width of its parents, then I could go ahead and change that to col lg12. Uh, and when I hit save, that's going to make it the same size or the full width of its parent. So now let me open up Firefox again and come back here and hit refresh. And you can see that now we have the blue div taking up uh, as much space as it can of its parent. Now the problem is we do have this little margin over here. And that's what happens whenever you nest um, columns inside of columns. By default, we have that uh, padding 
or that uh, that margin and if you want to get rid of that it is actually quite easy we could just uh, tab this all in and I can create another div over here and I'll give that a uh, class of uh, row and then I will end that row off down here okay so now we've got our column nested inside a row nested inside uh, our other column so now if I go ahead and hit save and we come back to Firefox and I refresh this you can see we get rid of that spacing now that is kind of um, weird because it means that uh, we won't be able to tell that this inner div is actually nested inside of that outer div. It kind of just looks like they're two separate rows. Uh, but if you guys ever wanted to get rid of the padding, then that's how you can do it quite easily. Uh, now let me show you guys what happens if I actually scale this down. Because right now, we have a large column at 6, and then we have that uh, nested column inside of it is also got a breakpoint of the large screen. So if we scale this down to a smaller screen, uh, this is a medium layout, you can see that now everything has actually um, started stacking, which is what I told you guys would happen uh, in the last tutorial. So if I wanted these to still display uh, inside of each other at a certain width, so in other words, I still wanted this nested column to display uh, at half of its parent on a medium screen, I'd have to go ahead and add a breakpoint for that. Okay, so I'm going to say call uh, MD6, and that would mean, okay, it's going to take up uh, six columns of its parent on a medium device, but we still have to add the class up here, because whatever class the parent has, the child has to have a same class. Uh, otherwise, what happens is you land up messing around with the breakpoints. Um, and it's fine right now because this is a row, but uh, I did this before <laughs> and I got a little bit of an error. So let me go ahead and move the row. And now you can see that um, the parent div actually uh, because it is floated and it's stacking, the child div is not actually inside of the parent div. So there's a solution to that, which was to actually have the co the second nested column inside of a row, or uh, what you can do is just give the parent a class. So call MD6, and now that they've got the same breakpoints, if I go ahead and hit save, and come back here and hit refresh, you can see that they'll work the same at the same breakpoint, uh, even if I change that to be 12 columns at a medium breakpoint. So come back here and hit refresh, and it works just fine. Okay, so if you guys ever have any problems with uh, nested divs breaking outside of their parent for some reason, then you guys know how to fix that now. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.